Mr. President, uh, House Bill uh, 516 is a bill that uh, that uh, requires that the uh, board establish a policy as it relates to public education in regards to sexually explicit instructional material. Senator from Hampton, Senator Locke. This issue arose out of the assignment of Beloved in an in, in AP English class. AP courses are optional. If this bill passes, it not only applies to English language arts, it will also apply to science, physical education, social studies, art and art history, and everything that a student will take except mathematics. From Fairfax City, Senator Peterson. We have school boards at the local level that deal with outraged parents when a book is assigned or an assignment is given and there is unhappiness in the community because they feel that that is appropriate. That is what they do. That's not our job, and it's really not the job of a state agency to get involved in that process when we have a board that does expressly that. Now, there are some things that you study in high school that could, in certain circumstances, be considered sexually explicit. The statue David by Michelangelo. The statue Venus to Milo. There are certain photographs that are in a historic nature, but if you look at them in isolation, could be considered sexually explicit. There's a very famous photograph from the Vietnamese War of a young girl running naked towards the camera after a bombing attack. That be, could, could be considered sexually explicit. In and of itself, without context, maybe it shouldn't be in front of our children. But within the context of a history lesson or a history book or an art history lesson, it should be in front of them. Or maybe it should be decided by somebody else whether it should be in front of them. You know, I've been contacted by teachers in my district who are very concerned about this bill, and one of the reasons is they teach advanced placement classes, which are supposed to be taught as college classes with those, uh, a certain level of maturity that's assumed. And yet, we're not making any distinction here uh, for 11th or 12th grader that's studying a college level material. We're just saying this applies blanketly across the board for every parent of a child that attends uh, a high school or an elementary school. Senator from Northern Fairfax County, Senator Howe. You know, in many ways, uh, this session has been an effort by the Commonwealth to reposition ourselves for the future. We have spent hours on bills forwarding um, our message that we are a forward-looking Commonwealth where people want to come and do business and create businesses. And I was asking myself, well, what could we do that would totally undermine these efforts? And this bill is it. We would be the first and only state to have a policy like this, according to the American Association of Librarians. What books are you talking about? We're told Toni Morrison's books. Toni Morrison has won the National Book Award the Pulitzer Prize, and she's the last American author to win the Nobel Prize for Literature. So let's just make ourselves look ridiculous, and let's undermine our own efforts to move this commonwealth forward. For the senator from Alexandria, Senator Eben. To simplify these literary classics into specific enumerations of sexually explicit content without contextualizing or discussing them in their totality robs the students of thematic richness and historical context for which these works are valued. Uh, literature is a vehicle that evokes understanding and discussion, and we should not be taking this first step towards encouraging censorship. The senator from Grayson County, Senator Carrico. And I, uh, I have excerpts, and uh, I could read them here on the floor, but I'd probably be violating some rule because of the language it uses and the explicity of it. The gentleman from Grayson shared with me um, privately some of the things that uh, that were uh, that were contained in the works that were challenged by the, the, uh, by the mother from Fairfax County, this material should not be in the schools at all. And the senator from Grayson is a lot nicer fellow than me, so he wouldn't read these passages. How can we debate them if we don't read them? So I'll redact some of the language, but I'll read them. What could a burnt-out old black man say to the hunchbacked 11-year-old girl? A bolt of desire ran through his genitals, softening, softening the lips of his anus. He wanted to F her, 
tenderly, but tenderness wouldn't hold. The tightness of her V was more than he could bear. His soul seemed to slip down his guts and fly into Mr. her. President, Mr. President, uh, would the gentleman agree that the language that he is even redacting may not be best for to have the pages in the room and that the reading of this document may not be valuable at this point? Mr. President, I respect uh, your articulation, and I'm asking whether or not you would respect my very humble request to perhaps not be so explicit and to rely upon the articulation that I know is embodied in your spirit and your mind. Mr. President, I hope we'll pass this bill, but I do have to express thanks to the gentleman from Lynchburg and the gentleman from James City County in pleading for a stop to one of the worst, worst <sighs> soliloquies we heard on this House floor. I'm ashamed. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you, son. Of course, I, uh, I look at this in the sense that, you know, we're here debating mental health issues all the time. And we're, we're dealing with young, influential minds. These books talk about rape, and they explain them. This, these books, this Pulitzer Prize winner that you're talking about talks about bestiality. And it explains it explicitly. Evil is a seed that grows. And these are evil acts. Rape, incest, we pass laws against them. Uh, all these things are evil acts. That evil act is just like a kitten. It may be playful and harmless in the beginning, but you feed that evil, it grows and it grows, and you encourage the feeding of that evil, it's going to grow into a lion, and it's going to eat you. This bill is the kitten that's about to morph into a lion. Is that the road that we're going down, where we are now beginning to determine what students can and cannot read in whatever course they are taking? Uh, nothing in this bill would uh, would censor anything. Not a single book would be removed. This material should not be in the schools at all. I, I want to be clear. We are not banning anything with this bill. This material should not be in the schools at all. The word banning is a lie. This material should not be in the schools at all. Our culture has gotten beyond the point where... It is good and decent, and frankly, I think we ought to clean up our schools. They, they, are, they are simply moving in a, in a very dark direction. I mean, they, they, are, they are sinking below anything that we would have ever imagined 20 years ago.